Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome to my brand new Let's Play series, Let's Play Safe Cracker. And I had to tell you that because at no point during this game does the game ever tell you that you are playing Safe Cracker. So that is mistake number one right there. But this, uh, this game was brought to us in 2006 uh, for PCs and the Wii. And uh, I picked it up oh, probably about five or six years ago at Best Buy for about 10 bucks off the clearance rack, and I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, the, the reviews for this game have been pretty mixed, but I, I thoroughly thought it was fun. I, I was on a kick for, for puzzle games at that time, and I thought it was really cool. Uh, the the storyline for it is fairly interesting, and I think just the designs of the puzzles in general I think are really cool. It's a uh, first-person adventure puzzle game, and you chronicle kind of your journey through uh, the process of uh, there was a billionaire oil tycoon that passed away, and uh, he had a particularly interesting affinity for building safes. And uh, what happened was he left his, his final will and testament in one of them in his giant-ass mansion, and so the family uh, has hired us, uh, essentially, uh, who is a detective that's like the best lock-picking guy that there is, and so they want him to go into the house and uh, go through all of the guy's safes in an attempt to find the Will and Testament to figure out who gets the giant lump of cash. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I thought this game was really fun. I think that you guys might enjoy it too. Uh, I've, I've already played through the game a couple of times, but I haven't really played through it in probably, I don't know, probably five or six months. So. I think it'll be one that'll be fun for me to kind of dust off the old brain and go uh, go check it out. So I hope you guys stick around. It'll be a fun time. It's got a really interesting kind of just a uh, real subtle tr uh, like soundtrack here. It's it's very just it makes nice background music. I think it's pretty pretty neat. One thing though, this fucking telephone. I hate it. <laughs> like look at all, where all the letters are placed in here. They're they are in no particular order at all. And it just pisses me off. Like, nobody's ever seen a phone like that. Maybe if it was in, like, a different country or something, but not here. One other thing before we start. This little dollar sign, little logo here. Keep that visual in mind because it will be a vital piece of one of these puzzles later on. So, before I keep you guys for too long, let's jump into the fray here. This is Safe Cracker for the PC because my, uh, my Wii is still packed. And you can take that however you want. Unbelievable! The largest layer of petrol in the world was found by DWA Petroleum. Every time I think of oil rigging things like that, I, it always reminds me of that song from A Perfect Circle, counting bodies no like shock. sheep to the rhythm the of the war drums. The millionaire Duncan W. Adams has disappeared. Who will inherit his empire? Hey, he didn't disappear, he fucking died. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure he oh, died. Wait. The family desperately seeks the will of Duncan W. Adams. The Adams family hires a specialist to find the document. But I think if they probably would have said in the newspaper Next that he died, you'd have like thousands dear of people sir, just raiding through his house looking for, for his money. In the event that our dear recently deceased uncle, much in keeping with his character, has left us with a final eccentricity. I like this guy's he voice a lot. His will in his mansion, leaving clues to its whereabouts. A literal paper chase. Given that he had a passion for safes, it is highly probable that he has hidden it in one of them. You were recommended to us for your skill in opening any kind of lock. Thus, we are counting on you to find the will and to return it to us as quickly as possible. You may name your price. Signed, Elizabeth Adams. Oh, don't Adams. don't give us the opportunity uh, to name our price because our reputation. price will be the whole Let's damn thing. Will, the faster, the better. <laughs> Why would you ever tell a man that he could just name his price? Like he's not going to be like, oh no, I maybe just like twenty bucks. I mean, I'm I, I need to get something on the way home because I'm I'm totally out of money right now. That guy would be like, dude, at least give me like half of it because you will see over the course of this game some of the safes that we have to go through are complete and utter bullshit. <laughs> so what I'm I'm going to try to do over the course of this let's play is I'm going to try to pull most of these out of memory uh, which for the most part won't be too bad uh, but there are like two or three puzzles in this game that I will have to refer back to some notes because with without them solving them would be an absolute just fuck storm so I just I, I apologize ahead of time but we're going to we're going to try to see how well my my brain can hold up on this since I haven't really had to use it that much lately so here we go so as, as you can see, I mean, we're going to be dealing with a couple like this, but they're going to be much more intricate than that. 
but they'll never really throw you into a situation in this game where they're just going to throw a safe at you and you have no idea what you're doing, unless you go to that safe out of order. So, let's, uh, there's a little note over here, let's go take a look at it. Hmm, look, a page from Duncan W. Adams' diary. June the 3rd. Since I'm getting old now, I should start preparing my will. I'm still unsure who to name as my beneficiary. I'll just give myself a little more time to reflect. Okay, so the first little safe is right over here, and this is this is one thing yeah, I'm, uh, that I'm really that I really wanted to show this to you point. guys for is that I don't know I think that they really did an awesome awesome job at creating different varying ideas for these. So the the uh, the thing with this particular safe is that you've got to get you have to match up the uh, the little colored dots with their colored arrows down here. So you got to get them into these positions. This one, luckily, is not very hard. So what you have to do is you have to Kind of move these things around the horn here. We'll get this uh, green one in position. And then all you gotta do is flip this one over twice. And bingo, bango, bongo, we'll get the thing open. So because of the fact that this is an adventure game, obviously, there's going to be uh, some little items that you gotta pick up. And most of these safes will all have an item to it, or they'll you know trigger an event of some kind. So always make sure that you check out what you got. The, the two prizes that we got out of this one was a resistor, which I'll explain that in a minute, and we got this little paper note that's got little four numbers on there, and that, my friends, is going to be what will open up this one right over here. So you go punch in the numbers that were there, and now I get to see the rest of this guy's house, or at least part of it, and I can't even explain how <sighs> fucking oh, huge dear, this house is. It doesn't appear to have been poor. Of course not, seeing as he was a billionaire. The crazy thing about this guy's house, like, let's keep in mind that he lives by himself. <laughs> like, Duncan W. Adams does not have, you know, a lot of... He doesn't have a family living here with him. He just lives by himself. And so, a guy, like, you'll see later on just how leviathan size this place is. But then again, I mean, he is a billionaire, so... I mean, if I was a billionaire, I'd probably have an outrageously large house, too. I mean, you gotta be hosting all the billionaire parties just because. So let's go open this door. It's not really a vital thing, like you don't need to do it, um, but because it, it just takes you back to this room we were just in here, but it'll make it easier for travel later on, because we will be kind of flipping back in between different wings of this. This puzzle right here, we'll get to it in a minute. Uh, that is not one that's necessary just yet. But we're going to go do this little one over here. This is actually probably my favorite one in the whole game. It's, it's really nifty. So let's go check it out. We will also get to this one in a moment as well. There is a note here, so we'll check it out. Let's have a look at this letter. Dear sir. Try to try to look at all the letters if you can, because some of them are actually very important to read. Safe locking system. We will keep you informed of progress on your case. National Institute for Industrial Property. Okay, so let's go jump into this little guy here. This is my favorite one, and uh, it's mainly because it's not terribly hard. So, obviously you can see there's a lot of different weird little arrows here. The objective of this is to open up the little casing behind this red button and to press it. So, the best way to do it, obviously, as you can see, one arrow will take you upwards one space. Uh, anything with, you know, and then it'll just coincide with their directions and the amount of arrows that are there. So the best way to do this is to kind of reverse engineer it from the end, and it'll take you back where you need to be to start it off with. So if you go back here, three will take you straight to that, and then you just have to kind of piece together the whole thing to figure out the, the whole track there. So we will start up here, as I already know the end of it, and this is how you end up getting the whole thing done. Okay, let's try to piece together the whole trail. Alright. Just gotta go right on... Oh, wait a minute. I went too far. <laughs> oh, my bad. So, hold on a second here. Let's go back into it again. So, okay, so we need to go here first. Yeah, start right here, and then we'll go way up to the top and then down to where I started from. That's right. There we go. Leave no stone unturned. I mean, let's not forget that Duncan W. Adams has to be a fucking genius. Like, who creates a safe like that? Like, that, in my mind, wouldn't even be a safe. And he made a laser out of it. Like, obviously... He is a billionaire, and no, he doesn't want just anybody going walking through his house and getting his will, but this, I think, might be a, be a little bit ridiculous. Like, he formed this entire thing with the laser and the mirrors and everything just to hide a little transistor inside of a magic globe. <laughs> like, 
You, you fucking that guy. So here's one of our first little major, major uh, things in this game is we have to put this thing back together. It's missing components. So as you can see, we've already got two pieces here. We gotta put this one transistor in here, and that'll finish that part off. You take this one little resistor here and put it in here, and it'll finish that part off. But there are two more little components that are missing. So we've got to go back out onto the floor in these other rooms and uh, solve a couple more of these so that we can unlock the door. So I will go and show you the location of the next safe. We won't have enough time in this episode to do it, uh, but I will at least show you where it is. This fucking... Dude, this house is insane. Like, what I would give for A, this house to be real first of all, and then two, I just want to go into it once. <laughs> like, there's so many cool places in here. So there's a safe over in this area. We won't deal with it just yet. There's a clue that we need out of one of these other safes in order to find out exactly how to, how to solve that one. So I'll wait until we get to that point. I hate... Okay, one little thing for me. I hate, like, these animal pelts on the floor. Like, I never understood why people really liked doing that, because I personally find it terrifying. Like, imagine walking into your house at night, like, totally wasted, and you go and walk in one of these rooms when it's still kind of dark, and you just see this thing on the floor. Like, that would be fucking terrifying. You're like, oh my god! There's a fucking tiger in here! Or, like, a leopard, or a bear, or whatever you want it to be. There's a note a down here. Postcard written by child. Dear Great Uncle, I hope you are fine. I'm having fun with my friends here at the holiday camp. The food is good and we are allowed to climb trees just like in your garden. Hugs and kisses, Sarah. <laughs> Hugs and kisses, Sarah. I hope you give me all your money, you piece of shit. Because every time I go to your house, all I can do is climb trees because you don't have any fucking video games. Fuck you, uncle. Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, that would be kids these days. Kids, like, need the stimulation of video games, otherwise they're going to go completely insane. So, what we're going to do is we're going to stop right here, and when we come back next time on uh, Let's Play Safe Cracker, we're going to check out this little guy right here, one of my other favorites in the entire game. I'll give you a little peek at it. Yeah. So, when we come back, my friends, we're going to play around with that puzzle. Until then, this is AMF saying I hope you guys stick around. It's going to be a fun little series. And uh, you guys take it easy, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.